Adobe has released multi-frame rendering support for export via the updated render queue in After Effects, currently the latest beta version. When fully implemented, multi-frame rendering will take advantage of multi-core CPUs by rendering in parallel for improved export and preview rendering performance. It's a significant update to the After Effects architecture and the render pipeline has been optimized from end to end, enabling After Effects to use your system to its full potential. Third-party plugin developers like us are also taking advantage of this update to optimize our plugins to increase our rendering speeds with the new multi-frame rendering option. Video Go is the only exception. In this tutorial, we'll see what to do if you're using Video Go and working with a version of After Effects that has the ability to do multi-frame rendering. Multi-frame rendering renders multiple frames in parallel instead of rendering frames one by one in order, and Video Go needs sequential rendering to carry brush strokes over time. It's not a good option for rendering shots that you've applied Video Go to because the results will be jumpy. So we can see how to disable multi-frame rendering if you're using Video Go. We can start here in After Effects and I've already set up a project. We can see that this video of a wedding I was at in Bali might look cool with Video Go applied. I just go to After Effects Preferences and select Memory and Performance and uncheck the Enable Multi-Frame Rendering option. It's checked by default. Note, as usual, you will need to go to the first frame and select clear brushes and images cached prior to rendering, or you will possibly get frames that look like this as you render. Or you can also go to the first frame and use purge all memory and cache option. If you're working on a large project, you can drop Video Go in its own comp and pre-render it with the render queue. Then you can import it back into the project and replace the Video Go layer with the pre-rendered Video Go comp. Another option would be to render the pre-comp using Render Queue. Open the Output Module settings and where it says Post Render Action, select Import and Replace Usage and tap on the Pick Whip to link it to the comp. Then render it out and when you return to AE and open up your comp, you will see that the Pre-comp has been replaced with the rendered version. Now we can go back to AE Preferences and select Memory and Performance and check the Enable Multi-Frame Rendering option prior to rendering out the final comp to take advantage of the multi-frame rendering. One more thing. So you can see here on my timeline that there are no cache markings. And if I scrub through the timeline, I get Adaptive Previews. Now with this new feature, Speculative Preview, that you can find in Composition Menu, Preview, Cache Frames When Idle, we can select to enable or use the keyboard shortcut Alt plus Shift plus L, and After Effects will cache the frames in the background. However, this is not a good option for Video Go, so we want to disable or uncheck this option when using the Video Go plugin. These are a few tips to keep in mind when using After Effects Beta version 22 and higher.